Good morning, grade one students. How are you all? How are you all feeling today? You all are good? Wow, that's great. I welcome you in week nine. And which day is today? Today is the first day of the week. Day one, right? Today is the first day, the first morning of this new week. I hope you all are feeling fine. Your tummies are full. Your mind is fresh, right? And you all are active in the morning. You all are? Wow, oh, that's great. You all should be nice, active in the morning to learn something, right? And which class is this? This is your literacy class. Very good. And today we are going to learn something very, very interesting for you, which I hope you all are going to enjoy, right? Now, before starting the lesson, I'm going to show you something. Now, see, what am I holding in my hand? What is this? It's a book. Very good. And what is this part of the book called? What is this thing? This is the cover of the book, right? And what, uh, what do you call this cover? This is the front cover of the book, right? And this side is the back cover of the book. This is the front, this is the back. And what is written on the front? What do you write? The title of the book, the name of the book, right? You write down the name of the book or the title of the book. So what is the name of the book here? Cakes and desserts, right? So that means, and over here is written the author's name. Author means the writer who has written this book, right? So here is the title, here is the author. And what is here at the back? They write a small description, a summary that what are you going to find in this book? Do you understand? So what is written on the front part? the title and the writer's name and at the back they write down something a little summary of the book right so this book is about cakes and desserts that means this book has recipes different types of methods to make cakes and desserts right yes or no okay so what type of book is this does do you find will you find stories in this book no it will give you recipes it gives you method right so this book is a non fiction book it's not fairy tale story it's information it's the method so this is a non fiction book right in the same way which book is this it's your textbook it's your course book and it tells you the name of the book is pupil book one that means it is for grade one and here they have written the author's name the person who has written this book right and in the back again they have given a small description of the book what you will find in this book you will probably find the different things that they have mentioned, which is in your course, a little thing, not in detail. So again, this book gives you information. So what type of book is this? It's a non-fiction book, book. The fiction books are all the fairy tale stories in which in the, in the, 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 the stories are not true, they are just make believe. They are just made up, right? So, but where in the in the nonfiction book you will find information, you will find facts, right? Which are all true. It's not make believe. It is not made up. It is all true, right? So there is a difference. Fiction, nonfiction. Fiction is a book which gives you our fairy tales, which is not true. Whereas nonfiction gives you facts it's give you information do you understand so in the same way today what we are going to do the unit which we are going to start is unit eight 
and it is all about foxes. That means we are going to learn about foxes and it gives, it tells you a book which is about fox, meet the fox. It's a book. They have given us the front cover of the book that is meet the fox. And this is the front cover of book about foxes. So this book tells you information. It gives you information about foxes. So what type of book it will be? Again, it will be a non-fiction book. It will be a non-fiction book because it's telling you information. It's giving you information about foxes. Correct. So this is what we are going to study in the unit. You can see my fox on the board. Yes. Do you like it? Yes. So this is a fox and what you will learn, you will learn where does a fox live? What does it eat and how does it look like? What you are going to learn? Where does a fox lives? What it eats and how does it look like? So we are going to learn some information about different types and different uh, kinds of foxes. Okay, not only one fox, but different foxes who lives at different places. All right, okay. So I'm going to show you a presentation okay just uh, pay attention to it and we will discuss side by side information about foxes now this again is about information about different foxes now what information the habitat and what is the meaning of habitat remember we have discussed in science lesson habitat means the place, the place where they live. So we are going to discuss the habitat of foxes. Now let's see what do we have here. See, this is a red fox. Now, red foxes live in forest. They dig a den and live in it. The den is warm inside. Now this, they are telling us information about red foxes. And red foxes, mostly they live in the forest area where they dig a den and live in it. Why they dig a den? Because it's a, the den is warm from inside. So this information about is about red fox. Okay, now let's move on. Now Arctic fox, this is about Arctic foxes. Arctic foxes live in colder parts of Canada, Alaska, Northern Asia and Europe. They live in cold climates and travel alone. Now you can see this fox, which color is it? It's of white color because it mostly lives in colder areas, colder uh, climate, uh, mostly in the parts of Canada, Alaska, Northern Asia, Europe, and Europe. And they live in cold climate, but they travel all alone. They don't want any other persons, any other, other animals with it. And this is what the foxes likes to eat. This is actually a life cycle, a whole um, web of foxes that they eat. Uh, what do they eat? They eat birds, they eat rabbits, they eat other animals. We are going to do this in detail when we are going to see the eating habits of foxes. Now we will discuss this food chain of foxes also later on. Okay, this we are going to discuss in the next lesson. So our main part today was where, what type of foxes do we have and where do they live? They are red fox, they are arctic fox who live in forest, who live in colder areas, right? Now, if you open page number 48 about the, uh, all about foxes, you will find different information. Now, this is where do foxes live? Okay, I'm going to read it for you and you will follow me through your book. Foxes live in many different places around the world. So where do they live? They live in many different places around the world. Like they have shown a picture of Bengal fox who lives in Bengal. Then it's a red fox again that I have shown you the picture. And this is the same Arctic fox that I have shown you. 
a Bengal fox, red fox, and Arctic fox. Where do they live? This Bengal fox lives in Bengal. This red fox lives in forest. Arctic fox lives in Canada, Alaska, Asia, and Europe. So many foxes live in the countryside. Some foxes now live in towns and cities. So many foxes they live in countryside, where, where mostly where there are villages and where there are which where there are less people. But nowadays, what happens? Foxes are also found in towns and cities, right? So that means we have we know now where do foxes live, what type of foxes are, right? We have done Bengal fox who lives in Bengal, the red fox who lives in forest. Then this again is my red fox you can see, and we have discussed about Arctic fox who lives in Canada, Alaska, Asia, and Europe, mostly in colder places where there are where there uh, the climate is very cold. And how do they travel? They travel all alone. They don't want anyone with them. Yes. Okay. Now is the part for you to do the task. Now let's discuss the questions first, and then you are going to do the task yourself. Okay. Now what is the title of this book? Remember, it's a book. So what's the title? The title is Meet the Fox. Very good. And who wrote the book? Who is the writer? Sam Taff. You can see the name is mentioned here. Sam Taff. And it is the title Meet the Fox. Right? So this is the answer of both the questions. Now, where do foxes live? You can find the answer where? Over here. Foxes live in many different parts all around the world, right? So these are the three questions we have discussed in class. You have to do this in your notebook. And I'm going to give you five minutes for this, right? Your time starts now. Time is up. Raise your hands. Great. Okay, so you have done it. Just show me your notebook. Wow. Very nice. Good job. Okay, so how are you going to summarize this lesson in one sentence? I want any one of you to summarize what we have learned today in one sentence. Yes, Ali? Yes, we have learned about foxes. There, where do they live? And only that we have learned. We have learned about different types of foxes like red fox, like the... Uh, uh, Bengal fox, the fox who lives in Arctic area. And why do they live in Arctic? Why? Because it's very cold area. The climate is very cold. So these foxes, they live in the cold climate, right? I hope you must have enjoyed this lesson. Yes, because it's about animals. And I, lo I know children love animals, right? And especially fox. Because foxes are very dangerous. Yes or no? Are you afraid of foxes? Yes, I'm afraid of foxes, right? So do try to search more on internet and find out some more information because tomorrow we are going to discuss more things. Today, we have discussed where foxes live. Now we are going to discuss what do they eat and how do they look like, okay? All right, so see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Do do your homework, which I'll be posting on portal, okay? Bye-bye. See you in your science.